Hello everyone, I am Saidith and welcome back to my channel Saidith Korean. Today I will try to do the another benchmark comparison between the Realme X7 Pro versus the Realme X7 Max as you can see friends. So both phones I do have right now and let's see which phone has the what kind of another benchmark test results and this is my day 2 of using the Realme X7 Max smartphone and a lot of users did ask me this kind of question can you make a lot of videos comparison between these both models particularly. So this is a question which I got recently as you can see friends and a lot of users they are actually waiting for this kind of comparison as well between both phones so that is the reason I thought of making this kind of videos comparing both phones in terms of the first starting with the Android benchmark test and next a couple of days later I'll try to compare with the displays loudspeaker and all other different different aspects within between the both of the devices let me try to quickly show you both phones are running the latest realme UI 2.0 version as you can see friends so both are running the realme UI 2.0 version and the dimensity 1200 and dimensity 1000 plus processor as you can clearly see here so let's see how much difference we can actually expect in terms of the Android benchmark scores between both phones and during this time let me try to uh, clear all the background applications as you can see all the background applications are completely cleared in both phones as you can clearly see here friends so one more thing let me even try to show you exactly what kind of refresh rate I am trying to use so just in case if you are if you want me to know as you can see so 120Hz refresh rate I am trying to use in the Realme X1 Pro and 120Hz as well in the Realme X1 Max as well so both I am using with the same kind of uh, refresh rate and let me try to disable everything and so I'm trying to turn on everything I'm just keeping in the aeroplane mode right now as you can see friends so both phones are in the aeroplane mode at this present let me try to uh, check the same kind of temperature same kind of brightness as well so right now as you can see both phones are having the same kind of brightness level at this point uh, let me try to check the temperatures first before starting the test so you know exactly how much temperature is right now 35 degrees in the realme x1 max and my room temperature is also really low 32 degrees only it's not that much high there is no AC there is no cooler turned on 34 degrees in the realme x1 pro as you can see friends 34 35 and 34 so now let me try to start the Android benchmark test in both phones at same time so in both phones I started the test at same time friends so you can actually see that as you can see here and let's see how much difference will it be there between the Dimensity 1000 plus versus the Dimensity 1200 so in case if you want me to do any kind of other kind of comparison between both phones like display, loudspeaker or camera so make sure to comment below definitely I'll do my best to post the video as soon as possible for you all. So let's see friends how much uh, difference we can expect and one more thing even I'm curious to see temperature readings. So which phone can actually have the better temperature management and which phone will be having higher temperature management. So let's see which phone is a higher. So right now 36.8 and uh, 35.6 so slowly both phones are starting to pick up the temperature little by little. So again I'll be back after a few percentage of the Android benchmark test has been successfully done then we'll be able to see what the difference is. So usually I'll be getting around 6 lakhs 90,000, 6 lakhs 80,000 in this Realme X1 Max and in X7 Pro I used to get about 5 lakhs uh, 50 and 40,000 but let's see what will happen right now, how much score will it be there. I'm using the Realme X1 Pro uh, for a very long time, maybe I think close to 6 months of usage with the Realme X1 Pro device particularly. So make sure to check the playlist in case if you want more details about any of the smartphones the playlist will give you a clear idea which phone to buy and why as well that will be really helpful for a lot of users. As you can see friends right now both phones are reached to the 90 percentage and let's see the temperatures 42.6 degrees on the Realme X1 Max smartphone 42.8 so 42.8 degrees on the Realme X1 Max right now as you can see friends 42.8 and let's see Realme X1 Pro how much it reached 40.4 that's so weird 40.4 as you can see friends is really shocking two degrees less in the realme x1 pro as you can clearly see the difference in both phones how much difference is there in terms of the temperature back side it's completely 30 uh, series only 39 is the highest on the back side on the front side 42 40.2 40.4 is highest so that's it as you can see friends so there's a huge difference between the Dimensity 1000 Plus and uh, Dimensity 1200. So the Dimensity 1200 is quite powerful and that is the reason why it's generating much kind of heat when you compare with the Dimensity 1000 Plus chipset. As you can see friends right now you can see 42.6 degrees, 42.6. You can clearly see and this is a result of the score as well which you got 6 lakhs 81,000 during this time of demonstration and after the test 42.8 is highest recorded temperature 42.8 as you can see friends 42.8 is the highest recorded temperature after finishing the test 
And once the Realme X1 Pro has been completed, we can complete the score. And the Realme X1 Pro also scored better score, which has scored the 5 lakhs 93,000. As you can see, friends, which is really impressive score as well right now. Let's take the temperature final 40 degrees, 40.2. That's really great in terms of the temperatures keeping as you can see friends 40 and one more thing I did feel a lot of the storage in the Realme X1 Pro that is the reason you are seeing 17% less storage space and you did see the memory uh, score also less so don't try to bother about the this score try to uh, check this CPU and the GPU scores we'll mainly focus on those two scores particularly so then we can understand which phone has what type of uh, CPU and the GPU so overall friends in terms of the temperatures clear winner is the realme x1 pro keeping the really very cool temperatures that's really great and in terms of the cpu cpu 171 which is present in the realme x1 max and 160 there's not much difference so 171 and 160 only i think 11,000 difference is there that's not huge difference and in terms of the cpu 2 lakhs 16,000 2 lakhs 42,000 as you can see friends there's a little bit kind of more differences there in terms of the gpu performance in the CPU segment, there is not much change, but GPU got a lot of change as you can clearly see friends in between both phones. So don't worry about this Realme GT Neo, even though I'm using the Realme X1 Max device which I ordered from the Flipkart, the Android benchmark application is still uh, showing this kind of Realme GT Neo only on the top. I'm not sure when it will be fixed. So these are the battery draining between both phones. 3% battery got drain and 5% battery got drain as you can clearly see the difference between both phones. So these are the quick results friends in terms of the Android benchmark comparison between both phones and definitely in terms of the temperatures the Realme X1 Max slightly increased 42.6 degrees 40.2 and 40.4 in the Realme X1 Pro. So thank you for watching and in case if you have any other queries between both phones so make sure to comment below so definitely I'll try to do the video as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video friends until then stay tuned. Bye.